Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. It's module four of grade two. Get your name on here first. And uh, we're going to solve these using the vertical form. Uh, you can use a place value chart and place value disks. I will do one example drawing the place value chart and the place value disks. <clears throat> but most of these I'm going to just so you can see how to do it. But for most of these, I'm really just going to do the vertical form. So I'm going to zoom in so I can draw the place value chart for these. So if you're using another piece of paper, you can you can do this, but <clears throat> hopefully the vertical method will work for these for you. So 31 plus 9, if I'm going to do this on a place value chart, it's going to look like this. If I'm going to draw a picture of it, All right, we're going to have tens and ones. And 31 plus 9 is so we're going to draw the 31, that's three tens. And 9, and 1, 1. And then the 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these discs and the pictures of the discs and the charts are really favorites. There's ten, ten, ten ones. That's going to be redrawn as a ten over here. I'm going to have. I'm not going to count these twice. So I don't have any other ones to count. I'll have zero ones and four tenths for forty. The vertical method. 31 plus 9. Make sure you're adding your 1s to your 1s and your 10s to your 10s, right? So the 1 and the 9 should line up on top of each other, and the, the 3 10 should be by itself. So this is what you want it to look like. 1 plus 9 is 10. That's the 0 1s left over, and, and there's the 1 10. 3 plus 1, 4, 40. 32 plus 8, and I know for parents, we're used to seeing the 10 for the 8 and 2 go up here, but we found that a lot of times in the beginning especially, it's okay to do that, but we found that a lot of times in the beginning that the kids, when you put an, another 1 up there, another 10 up there, the, the kids they won't they will ignore it and they won't look at it but if you put it here it's it's harder to ignore oops if you put it here it's harder to ignore so there's three and one more 40 42 plus 18. now you can see this eight and that two oh there's a 10 you should be seeing that right away so then we, when we bundle that 10, there's going to be zero ones left, and there's going to be a, another 10. So four tens and two more tens, six tens at 60. 43 and 17, you should be seeing this already. There's another 10. So those ones all bundled together, we're going to make a 10 with zero ones left over. Six tens, 60. And 26 and 67 addition 6 and 7 you're going to end up bundling 10 ones and you're going to have 3 ones left over because it makes 13 right 10 3 there's the 10 there's 3 ones left over 6 and 2 is 8 1 more is 9 93 28 65 8 and 5, 13, that's a 3 ones and a 10, and we have 93 again. Yeah. Zoom back out. Add the bottom numbers to find the missing number above it. So these are just number bonds. Right, the number bond, these are the parts, and this is the whole, and you see the big circle is for the big number, so we're adding these to get the total. 23, 
18. That's 11, which is a 1 and a 10. And that's four tens. 41. And here we have 29 and 23. Let's add those together. 9 and 3 is 12. That's a 2 and a 10. Two ones and one ten. And that's two, four, and one more. Five tens, fifty-two. Jasir counted 63 flowers by the door and 28 flowers on the windowsill. How many flowers were by the door and on the windowsill? So that's, we're just to draw a quick tape, tape diagram. Here's the 63 by the door and that's the windowsill, 28. And we have to find out how much is it for the two of them added together. 28, 63. Let's make that 28 look like a 28 and not a Z8. There. Start with the ones digits first. Always the ones digits first. Because a lot of times you're going to have to do it over again if you start with the tens. So this is different. And mentally, you're always going to add the tens first. But on when you do this on paper, you look at the ones digits first. And if I don't see this, mark here for the 11 ones, a 10 and a 1, then I know you did it mentally and you didn't use the vertical method. And 6 and 2 is 8. One more is 91. 63 plus 28 equals 91. You're going to have that equation and our statement is there were 91 flowers. Antonio's string is 38 centimeters longer than his reading book. So he's got a string and a reading book. His string is longer than his reading book. So we have, there's his string, here's his book. The book is 26 centimeters and the string is longer. It's 38, that's the longer L for longer. So the length of the string is the 26 plus the 38. So 26, 38, right? We're adding 26 plus 38. Six plus eight is 14. That's four ones with it. That's a 10 and a four. And then look at our tens digits, add those together. We have another 10 here, so that's 64. His string is 64 cm long. The length of Antonio's reading book is 20 centimeters shorter than the length of his desk. So now we got to go back and look at some more of this information that we had in the first part. So his book is shorter than his desk. So here's his book. And here's his desk. B for book, D for desk. Let me just clean these up so we can actually they look like letters here b for book d for desk uh, how long is his desk so we don't know how long the desk is the book is 20 centimeters shorter now what do we know about the book uh, it says up here that the length of his book is 26 centimeters so the book is 26 
and we know the difference between the two. 20 centimeters shorter. So this is the shorter. Right? If the book is shorter, then the desk is longer. Uh, so and the difference is 20. So if they were the same, they would both be 26. So the desk is, if the book is 20 shorter, then the desk is 20 longer. So the desk is 26 plus the 20. And if you want to use the vertical method for this, it's really easy. 26, right? It's 26 plus 20 equals. There's a 26. Here's the 20. And again, I'm going to clean this up so it looks like twos instead of z's. Much as I can. Six plus zero. I don't even have to bundle any any ones. It's just six, and that's four. Forty-six. Antonio's desk is forty-six centimeters long.